I really don't get why men are still getting married in 2024, especially in America, bro. This is really in America. This is really just America, bro. Like America, America, the land of the free, the land of the free. Damn right. <laughs> Look, bro. All right. Stop getting married in this country, okay? I'm talking about legal paper documented marriage, okay, bro? I'm talking about having a wedding. I'm talking about government issued marriage. Men, stop doing it to yourselves. Like, really think about it. Is it smart? So you telling me that that you gonna sign half of your fucking life to an organism? Right? And we are organisms. Men and women. You're gonna sign your half of your fucking life, which is your money, half of your fucking bank, right? To another living organism that has a mind of its own, could do whatever the fuck they wanna do. You tell bro, you telling me you gonna do that? Now, I don't know if you know how that marriage shit works, but if a woman decides to get divorced she can take half of the man's fucking finances bro or half of the nigga's wealth did you know that i'm pretty sure you guys fucking know that by now how much fucking men it actually happened to and how much men end up killing themselves because of it now it's kind of unfair bro like why are the laws like that why is it like that you know you know, you know, bro, I wanted to get married. I wanted to get married, too. But when I, bro, nigga, once I realized that, I'm like, fuck this shit. Why would I do that to myself? There's a tons of marriages that don't work out, bro. You really gonna, gonna legally sign your fucking half of your wealth to this, to a, to, not even a woman, bro. To another person. I mean, not even, that's just stupid. That's stupid. Why would you do that? I would not do that shit. I don't care how good that woman treats me. I would never. What? Bro. Bro, you, you're you going to be walking on fucking eggshells, my nigga. All right? You're going to be walking on eggshells. If you do that shit. I don't know what's up with you guys, bro. I, I, I don't know if you guys aren't thinking anymore. I don't know. It's just not fair. It's just not fair. The marriage, how, how marriage is legally, it's just not fair. Like, like, how can a woman cheat, file for divorce, and still take half of the nigga's fucking wealth? That's fucked up, bro. Like, what logic is there in that? You know, it's just not a good. It's, it's not a good deal. It's just not a good. It's not a good contract. It's just not. You are you really? It's not even about it being a woman. Are you gonna put your trust into something you cannot control, which is another living organism, a human? Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Look, bro, I know, look, bro, nah, bro, I I wouldn't do that shit. Look, bro, we could have kids, bro. You know, I have a kid, I have kids. Let's have some kids, you know, let's, let's buy a house together. Why the fuck do we got, do I have to marry you legally on paper? Why do I have to do that? Why does the law have to come into this? Now, you see, when they want to get legally married by law, that's a red flag. That's a red flag. Because these women know the law, bro. They know that if they marry you, they can take half of your shit whenever the fuck they want. Run off, nigga. Zoop. You same bolt, nigga. Woo. Oh, woo. <laughs> Real shit. So you ask yourself the question. Would you take the risk? I wouldn't. <laughs>